New Orleans today is absolutely full of life and vigor. There's a real need to ensure that the basic city services of those who live here are benefiting from our industry that's driving 18 million visitors to our city. The Real Time Crime Center is part of the Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness for the City of New Orleans. And we serve all public safety agencies, police, fire, EMS, emergency management, as well as the ancillary public safety agencies. At current, we have over 400 city-owned cameras located throughout the city. New Orleans is a unique city. We have a lot of events here that draw a lot of tourists to the area. And with that influx of people, having that eye in the sky helps us to make sure that they stay safe. We've partnered up with several businesses in our city. They're helping us expand our canopy in areas that we don't have cameras. Like at the World War II Museum, we've integrated their cameras into our system. And it works just like a city camera, where if we get an alert, that camera will spin up just as one of our cameras would it's owned by the city. The National World War II Museum sits on six and a half acres. We have over 225 cameras on site and we have over 750,000 visitors here on an annual basis. When we started researching software programs, I looked at the other vendors, and at the end of the day when we were done, Genetech was the obvious solution for us. One of the real selling points was the Federation ability. What Federation does to the museum is we feed our cameras into the Real-Time Crime Center, and they have access to looking at those cameras at all times. If there's a 911 call, our cameras are front and center on their screens. Even when we're looking at one camera, we know they're looking at all the cameras. They can clip footage off without us even knowing it and have what they need immediately. It helps us know that we're safe. If an incident occurs and we get an alert, a bank of cameras will spin up that are in the area of where the incident is. And our technicians will read the notes from dispatch, watch that video, get that intelligence, and pass that on to the officers in the field that are responding. We're able to give the officers some information before they arrive. When we make our first responders and our public safety partners more efficient and more effective, we give them time back. We serve as an artificial force multiplier. The Genentech platform, because it's really a public safety grade VMS, it's designed around how the police approach going through video and mining video. Our ability to, to grow the center is really based on the leveraging the public-private partnership. So while we have a federation with the National World War II Museum, we federate through Genentech Stratocast as well, so we give the homeowners the opportunity to integrate their cameras. We all put these devices on our house, but nobody's watching it on the other end. Nobody's dispatching it. With Stratocast, Community Connect, now you have the ability for those cameras to be shared with the Real-Time Crime Center. If we could have a thousand homeowner cameras, we could still continue to provide the services that we do with no impact financially to the city. I think having the Genetech system and our relationship with the Real-Time Crime Center has given me the opportunity to get in front of our Board of Trustees and let them see that we are really taking care of the museum and it's in good hands. We understand that partnerships within our public safety agencies, with our state and federal partners, and most importantly, with the private sector, is critical to maintaining a sense of safety and security in and around the city.